Hello and welcome to the What's New in the S2M Center version 10 video series. In this video, we're going to be going over the new nesting features. Starting with the S2M Center version 10, we now have greater control over where our start point is on a nest. When I click the setup of a nested based router, I go to the nesting group to filter out all the other properties. You can see I have in the outline subgroup the outline start property. When we drop this down, we can see we have three options, center, perimeter, and corner. If you'd like to learn more about these three options, please visit your help files. Starting with the S2M Center version 10, we have introduced a new start point methodology known as perimeter start point. I can go to the setup tab with a nested base router selected, click on the nesting group, and look at the outline start point, which we can see is set to perimeter. The idea behind this is that all parts will be cut from the outside of the sheet first, moving towards the center with the point of the origin of the part always being towards the center of the sheet. Using this pattern, each part is attached to a very large section of the sheet when its outline is cut, so this holding power is not just from the size of the part, but the size of all the other uncut parts as well. If you'd like to learn more about this, please visit your help files. With a nested base router selected, using an IntelliCam link, we can go to our Setup tab, click on the Small Parts Option Group, and find our new Interior Boundary for Very Small Parts property. This is a simple checkbox that will establish a boundary to keep very small parts, as defined by the other options for very small parts, away from the center of the sheet. This option is very helpful for those users wanting to machine using the new perimeter nesting start point. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of the S2M Center. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at our website at www.screentomachine.com.